attaining national happiness is good governance. Now, bureaucracy, of course, it has a lot of problems and difficulties also, is considered by and large to be quite uh, efficient and uh, quite honest and quite effective. Well, gross national happiness, this is a concept, uh, or rather now it has become a development philosophy that we follow here in Bhutan. This was initiated by His Majesty the King himself. A material development is not adequate. It has to be a balanced development, development with a human face, a people-centered development. And that's where we uh, try to take into account not just uh, economic development, but other factors, social factors, the national environment, culture, governance, etc. We started with one TV channel in Bhutan, and within six months we opened up to the world. We had 45 channels. Now we've had a few years of advertising. The ads basically emphasize the hourglass figure, the thin, uh, the slim woman, the well dressed woman, the makeup. And suddenly this beautiful traditional Bhutanese woman feels ugly. It's something we have to watch out for is that it, it is fueling consumerism. Not everything from the West is evil. No? There, are, there are good things. Well, hydroelectricity has become very important for our economy today. It brings a lot of revenue to the government. It has also enabled many other uh, economic activities and industries to come up in Bhutan. We build a small dam only to divert the water not to store it. So there's no large backflow of water to displace people, etc. Uh, so the impact on the environment as a result of uh, establishing large power projects in Bhutan is really very minimal. <laughs>